Aston Martin wants Nick Hülkenberg as their third driver. I'm going to tell you what I think about it in this video. As you can probably tell by my attire that I'm wearing, um, I'm wearing the old the Renault cap from Nick Eichenberg uh, from 2019, and I'm also having the I'm also wearing the corresponding um, corresponding uh, t-shirt and. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the um, the uh, racing point outfit. Um, but anyway, um, I've just read that um, Aston Martin are interested in in um, getting Nick Eikenberg on board as as their test and reserve driver for the 2020, 2021 season. Um, you know, they, they Otmar Zabnoa said that it, that it would be a great, um, that it would be a great um, addition to the race drivers, uh, Sebastian Vettel and Lance Stroll. I totally agree with him. Uh, because uh, I, I just want to listen to uh, the the um, the clip that I found on the internet, um, and uh, then I'm going to tell you a bit more about what I think. Yeah, uh, generally, car then, um, yeah, to the front get quite a bit of stress. Uh, feel the tailwind a lot mid to exit of turn seven. Uh, and 16, 17 a lot, uh, especially 16, 17. I've really struggled a lot and lost quite a bit of time there on, on all my laps because the car feels like it doesn't really stop. The wind is pushing on and then as you put on some lock, the rear just steps out on you. Um, high speed is obviously quite a lot of load, um, fairly comfortable there. Uh, I feel the steering is super direct and sensitive. You know, just a little input of steering and the car really boom reacts immediately like kind of very active I'm, I'm used to last year at Renault it was much slower steering rack you know in a variable rack and this one is really so sharp it gives a bit the sensation of being very on the nose um, and ride is uh, it's okay in some places it's it's pretty harsh in some places it's uh, okay with the steering, Nico, do you feel that something would benefit from a different pass assistance, or it sounds like it's more just the geometry that feels different to you? Yeah, it's it's mainly geometry, but it's also less assist, I would say, compared to what I'm used to. Um, yeah, I think could try maybe a bit more assistance, uh, but maybe let let's finish P1 as we are, then then we'll reassess. Yeah, I, think I think he is de definitely a very capable uh, driver. He can also he can also um, very, very is very good at um, developing the car, and he can adapt to situations very quickly. Uh, we've seen that in the 2020 season. When he, he when he did um, th when he when he did three weekends as a four four racing point when um, Lance Stroll um, and Sergio Perez unfortunately were were sidelined due to COVID. Yes, he didn't do the. British, the British Grand Prix because he, he um, didn't start that as as he had start as um, as he had a uh, start uh, as he had engine issues uh, before the start. 
However, the um, the fact that he managed managed to put it in on onto the onto uh, third position during qualifying for that race was absolutely epic. Um, and he he he, he um, in the following uh, two, two appearances that he made, he did an absolutely epic job. Um, I think that would, if they can get hold of him, that would be absolutely epic um, because, um, you know, as I said, um, I think he should have um, got got the, the chance uh, to be a regular uh, race driver on the grid, uh, on a, you know, but uh, I think Aston Martin uh, test and reserve and development driver would be would be a great chance for him. Uh, it, it would also put um, Aston Martin into a great position because if they put him, if they um, if they have him under, if they put him under contract, then um, he would go to every single race and uh, should anything happen to the drivers um, during the 2021 season, he could be able to, he, he would be able to just jump in um, without any delay uh, and he would be able to perform, I think, because then he would be more um, familiar than, with the car um, because don't forget he when he did the reserve when he did the, when he did the um, unplanned uh, short notice appearances he didn't have any time in the car so I reckon um, you know if they can get him for 2021 that would be absolutely brilliant um, it would also um, m mean m mean that um, he he would probably get a couple of um, free practice sessions in. Uh, I think that would be great if that would be part of the deal. Um, and I I I I I wouldn't put it past um, him making a race appearance. Um, for Aston Martin, if should um, should um, either La La Lance Stroll or Sebastian Vettel uh, get struck get struck by COVID, I mean I'm not. Um, I hope it doesn't happen, but uh, on the other hand, I I I think one can't count it out. Uh, just yet, you know what I mean? Um, so I think that would be the best option for uh, Aston Martin. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Cheers for watching. Um, I'm out of here, guys. Bye for now. Bye.